IREX 2022. Japan Robot Association and the Nikan Kokyo Shimbun held the International Robot Exhibition 2022 at Tokyo Big Site between March 9th, Wednesday, and March 12th, Saturday, 2022, with the theme, The Way Towards a Friendlier Society, Bridged by Robots. Being the world's largest class robot trade fair, as the biennial event is, this was the 24th time this event came about. And with it came various interesting robots and whatnot. So watch today's video to the very end for an insight into IREX 2022. Before we go any further though, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's jump right in. What, where, when. The International Robot Exhibition 2022 was held with the number of 615 companies and organizations and 3,227 booths. IREX 2019 consisted of 637 companies and organizations and 3,060 booths. This year's exhibition was held in East 1-8 to eight halls and West 3-4 to four halls of Tokyo Big Site. In addition to exhibiting the latest systems and related equipment for industrial robots, which has been increased to use, many service robots which were active during the COVID-19 pandemic were exhibited. Besides, material handling, robot zone, and parts feeder zone were also newly added. And the latest robot systems that were active in the logistics industry, such as supply systems and parts feeders, were also exhibited. Regarding forums and seminars, IREX Robot Forum 2022 was held on the day one to explore the latest trends about robot introduction and possibilities in new fields by leading robot manufacturers and users. In addition, various forums and exhibitor seminars were held every day. For those who were unable to visit the on-site exhibition, IREX 2022 Online was also made available. IREX 2022 Online contained the introduction of exhibit products and services and streaming webinars. The online venue was full of highlights, including certain exhibitors which were only available at the online venue, and some webinars limited to the online venue. More information was provided by holding a hybrid style event, on site and online. In addition, information was also made available in both Japanese and English, and visitors were able to access this information 24 hours round from all over the world. Industrial Robot Zone for a wide range of demand. The use of industrial robots has expanded beyond the conventional automotive and electronic parts industries to areas such as food and medicine and accelerating automation and productivity gains. Material handling, robot zone, and parts supply zone was established from this year, and the latest robot systems that are active in the logistics industry, such as supply systems and parts feeders, were exhibited. In addition, collaborative robots which were active in the COVID-19 pandemic, robots and solutions relating to DX and digital twins were also exhibited. The Service Robot Zone, covering a broad range of fields such as nursing care and welfare, agriculture, infrastructure support, and education. The latest robots that are active in society such as nursing care and welfare, infrastructure support and disaster response, education, and food were exhibited in this. Service Robot Zone. At the NITO booth, the latest robots that have been developed and drones were exhibited. In addition, at the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries booth, robots related to smart agriculture were on display. In the project area of World Robot Summit, WRS, held in 2021, sponsored by the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, and NEDO, demonstration and operational experience was held by winning teams of World Robot Challenge. Multiple robot competitions and concurrent events. In the West 3-4 to four halls, the area of robot activity and experience zone, which is always quite popular with general visitors, was expanded. In addition to the latest mobility test drive experience, multiple robot competitions on the final day only, and concurrent events such as International Space Industry, Exhibition ICX, Coco Cara Fair, and Good Factory Shop also unfolded. ICX this space business used to be a national scale business, but with the remarkable participation of private companies, it has the potential to create new business opportunities beyond industries related to the manufacture and launch of rockets and satellites. The size of the space business market, which has long remained in the 300 billion US dollar range, was expected to expand after 2020 and is expected to exceed 2.4 trillion US dollars by 2040. 
space development is no longer a topic for the distant future. Around the world, emerging companies are developing and test launching rockets and conducting in-space demonstrations at a rapid pace. The International Space Industry Exhibition ICX Zone was a concurrent special exhibition as a part of the world's largest robot exhibition. It featured stage events and exhibitions of robots, products, and services that are specialized for the space development business. Roach has nothing on adorable robot dog. This year at IREX 2022 in Japan, we learned that if you want to stand out in the robot animal arms race, you have to think bigger. Kawasaki Heavy Industries revealed the RHP Vex, a quadruped robot that sort of resembles the horse you get in Elden Ring. But instead of being a mythical spirit steed that can double jump, it's a robot horse with LED horns that can deploy an aerial drone from its back. According to sources, the Vex is a robot with a 100kg load capacity designed for transporting people and things, like an artificial pack, mule, or mountain goat hybrid. The Vex employs wheels for flat surfaces, along with walking around on its four legs to traverse uneven terrains. The legs can move using V-Sido, a robot control system that allows the generating gait motion so the legs move in an almost locomotive-like cadence. In wheel mode, the Vex drops down to its knees, where the wheels are in its case in a hurry. Another wheel pops out of its belly for stability. According to Kawasaki Heavy Industries, the Vex can link up with a network of autonomous delivery robots and successfully had the K-Racer unmanned drone take off and land on its back in a test last year. The idea is that, in theory, the Vex can climb rough and harsh terrain at high elevations to deliver cargo or deploy a drone in areas too unsafe for people or vehicles to get to. I don't know about you, but as soon as I hear it can deploy anything, I fear that the Vex can go from being this cute robot horse that can deliver beer to the mountains, to a cute robot horse with a minigun on its back, like the robot dogs in Battlefield 2042. The Witcher 3's Roach, and especially Metal Gear Solid 5's D-Horse, must be envious of the versatility. Ha. Dobots unveiling. Dobot, a world-leading provider of intelligent robotic solutions, showcased a rich collection of robots along with the unveiling of its second-generation SCARA collaborative robot, the M1 Pro. The Dobot M1 Pro is a new SCARA collaborative robot with excellent human-machine collaboration and safety features compared to conventional robotic arms. It's perfect for a wide range of applications in lightweight industry, communication, and consumer electronics, such as pick-and-place, gluing, assembly, other light industrial needs, and higher education. Keenan's New Delivery Robot Keenan Robotics, one of the world's leading service robotics companies, was all set to bring its full portfolio of hospitality robot products to IREX 2022. During the four-day event running from March 9th to March 12th in Tokyo, alongside an online exhibition space open to the public from March 1st to 18th, IREX visitors were able to have a close-up experience with Keenan's market-leading indoor delivery robots, including the new, compact, and lightweight delivery robot T8 that will make its debut in the Japanese market. Featuring an elegant and compact structure, the delivery robot T8 is an adorable and capable assistant for restaurants and hotels. This new model is equipped with a centimeter level positioning system, which allows it to navigate narrow spaces with ease. It also can communicate and collaborate with other units to complete more complicated delivery tasks, reducing response times to provide a seamless and intuitive experience for guests. Keenan's industry-leading high-precision automatic positioning and navigation technology allows the robots to quickly adapt to the working environment and deliver excellent cross-floor room delivery and dish serving services. Coupled with the auto-charging feature, their high operation efficiency has made them perfect assistance for a wide range of business scenarios, especially in the post-pandemic era as consumers are increasingly prioritizing contactless options for health and safety concerns. Industrial 3D printing climbs to new heights. In the 35 years since additive manufacturing, aka 3D printing, was commercially introduced, the palette of machines, materials, and methods has grown significantly, and fresh sales reports bear this out. From large area, scalable, or in-situ platforms, to 3D printed tooling and resins exhibiting an array of mechanical properties, additive manufacturing seemingly breaks ground on a daily basis. Even electronics giant and 2D printer maker Epson is getting into the additive game, announcing on March 7th its industrial grade 3D printer. The machine's flat screw extrusion method lets it print resin or metal pellets and high performance thermoplastics like Peak. The printer made its very first debut at the IREX 2022. 
Nikon C3 eMotion Intelligent Actuator Units. Nikon was pleased to announce the expansion of its C3 eMotion Intelligent Actuator Unit lineup, each of which combines vital robotic joint components, including a motor, speed reducer, motor driver, brake, and encoders together into one package. Nikon will now offer the new IAU30 and IAU300 types, which differ in terms of size, torque, and other characteristics. The C3 eMotion, debuted at IREX 2022, is a robotic joint unit for collaborative robots that, when used together with robotic arms, facilitates easier building of robots even by users who have no knowledge of robot design. Moreover, thanks to its high versatility, the C3 eMotion can also be used as a component in semiconductor equipment, machine tools, measurement instruments, conveyance equipment, and other machines and systems which require high stopping accuracy, machine precision, or similar. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in next time for more of such interesting content.